Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering Recover from CS50's problem set 4. Okay, so in Recover, we are given a memory card, so a memory uh, called card.raw. And what we have to do is basically retrieve JPEG images from this file. So let me just download the distribution code and we can get started. Alright, so this is recover.c and um, this is basically just a little bit of code for us to just get started. And this is card.raw, the file that we will be retrieving the images from. Okay, so this program is going to be working on the basis of the user entering the memory card as a command line argument. And then uh, based off of the file that the user has entered in a command line argument, we have to decipher and index into the memory of the card.raw file and then generate images from uh, the memory file. Okay, so let's just uh, create the code for the command line argument. So uh, what we have to do if uh, the user did not enter one command line argument, we want to just return one and exit the code. So if argc is um, not equals to two, then we would just want to return one. Okay, and uh, then moving on, uh, Brian actually in this walkthrough went through very, very well and very clearly on how we are supposed to solve this problem set. And I'll just be using his video as reference in solving this problem set. So the very first step is to open the memory card. All right. So um, let's call it maybe. Actually, we don't have to call it anything. Um, so yeah, let's open the memory card. It's going to be file. Um, then let's call it uh, raw file. Okay, and it's just going to be f open arg v1 and we will be reading from it. Okay, and the next step is going to be to repeat until the end of card. And if you guys have watched this walkthrough, I assume that you guys understand this pseudocode. Um, but even if you guys don't, I'll just, I'll still be explaining it. So what we want to do is to create a while loop. And in this while loop, we will just be looping through the entire memory card. And in every single one of this loop, we'll be reading a block of chunk of memory from uh, the raw file, okay? And this block size is going to be of 12, uh, 512 bytes. So um, a visual representation of that is also in this video. So let's say this is the memory card. And uh, we'll be looping through all of the blocks. So each of these blocks are 512 bytes. And we'll be looping through until we find the very first file. Okay, so this yellow chunk is the very first file, uh, JPEG file that we find, found. And then we'll be looping through 512 bytes each. And then we find a very new JPEG. And so we'll be opening a new JPEG file and so on. Okay, so um, th in this while loop, what we'll be doing, um, actually, in the pseudocode, Brian uh, created this code in two parts. So repeat until the end of card and then read 512 bytes. We will be combining both of these two steps. So while we'll be reading the code, uh, reading the raw file, okay? So it's going to F read, read to a pointer. So this time around, um, so even for F read, Brian mentioned uh, how we can do that part. So F read the data, the pointer to where we'll be storing the data. And we want this data to be able to store 512 bytes because one block is 512 bytes, right? And so how we can do that, it, we can actually do that in multiple ways. But what I found to be the most clear is to use uint8 buffer, okay? So it's going to be, um, we are creating a buffer. So uint8 t buffer of size 512. And this is going to be storing whatever we read. You guys could also try to create an unsigned character array of um, 512 and so on. I'm sure there are even other methods. But for us to use this uint type, uh, uint t, we have to include uh, standard int.h. And this should be pretty familiar to you guys because we used um, uint h and uh, I mean stdint.h uh, header as well as uint 8 
variable type in uh, volume.c. So we are also using it in recover.c. So let's read 512 bytes in every single one of our iterations into this wall loop. Okay, so data is the pointer to where we're storing the data. Okay, so it's gonna be a buffer. And next is the size of each element. We want to be reading one byte um, each time and we want to be reading it 512 times. And we are reading it from the raw file. Okay. And so uh, that's it. Okay. So now let's follow along with the pseudocode. If it's the start of a new JPEG, um, then we want to do, do a certain thing. And if it's not, then we want to do a certain thing. Okay. So how do we know if it's the start of a new JPEG? So if it's the start of the new JPEG, our buffer, um, the data for the first four bytes is going to be OXFF, OXD8, OXFF, and so on, right? Um, as they mentioned here. So let's do an if condition to check on that. So if buffer 0 is equals to OXFF and buffer 1 is equals to OXD8 and buffer 2 is equals to OXFF and um, buffer 3 let me just close this and OXF0 is equals to OXE0 okay so if this fits the conditions then we know that we have found a new JPEG so found JPEG is gonna be equals to true and um, you guys could also use numbers for this but I find it more uh, clear and visually appealing to use boolean operators so um, I'll be including standard bool.h and for this found JPEG we also have to create a new variable for that so it's gonna be bool found JPEG uh, equals to false initially okay so now what we want to do is um, if it's the start, if it's the first JPEG, then we want to do something. So how will we know that if it, uh, it's the first JPEG? So what we can do is to create a counter. Okay, so this counter will increment as we are finding new JPEGs, right? So um, this uh, this thing here. So as we are finding new JPEG files, then we'll be incrementing this counter. So it's gonna be int counter equals to zero. Okay, so let's see if uh, this counter, you know what? Let's say we have found a JPEG. So found JPEG, okay, is equals to true, right? And now I'm fooling along with the pseudocode we found a JPEG and this JPEG is the very first JPEG. So it's going to be of counter zero. So if counter equals to zero. So if counter is equals to zero, then we want to do certain thing. If the counter is zero, what do we want to do? We want to, as I mentioned here, uh, make a new JPEG. Okay. So to make a new JPEG, um, we have to F open a file. And that's how we create a new JPEG. So the file name is going to be zero initially, right? So zero, zero, zero dot JPEG. So um, even for this, right, we have to have a file, we have to have a variable called file name. And this will be storing the file name as well as helping us open a new file based on that name. And this is going to be a string, so character, which is basically a character array, right? So character uh, char file name buffer of uh, size 8 because if you guys noticed it's going to be three digits then a full stop then three letters and then a null character so that's a total of eight characters okay and so let's do sprint f so sprint f uh, file name then uh, percentage 0 3i dot jpeg then uh, counter right and then what we want to do is uh, open an image file based on this name 
but you guys will notice that if we actually use file open uh, and you guys will notice if we create a file pointer in this if loop in this if condition we won't be able to use it in the broader sense you know in like the other um in the other conditions so what we want to be doing is to create this uh, in the outer loop so file image and we'll just be initializing it to null if you guys don't understand what i mentioned um you guys can try it try to initialize this all pointer here but you guys will notice that because of how scope in c works um we have if conditions here and then we have else and then if else again and again you guys will notice that we won't be able to use this image because this image is uh, defined specifically for this if condition and outside of this if condition we won't be able to use image okay so it's gonna be image is equal to f open so this is where we are creating a new file so file name comma w to write okay and then what we want to do is to f write okay so f write which was also discussed in this walkthrough so f write what is the data we are writing the data we are writing is the buffer right so buffer comma size of 1 512 times uh, and the output is going to be the image pointer okay and this is only for the very first file and then at the very end here what we want to do is to update our file in jpeg to be equals to false because now that we are done with this we can set it back to false okay and then next what we want to do is um if it's not the first jpeg so let's say if the counter is not equals to zero what we can do is else close the original file right so we have to f close or else there'll be memory leaks so f close uh closing the initial image so f close image and then what we want to do is um okay but before this right um we also want to increment the counter so now that we have created a file already for the zeroth uh zeroth file name we can increment the counter just so that we can create um, files for you know image one image two image three and so on so now we will be opening a new file so sprint f file name and it's gonna be percent tree i dot jpeg percent zero tree i sorry percent zero tree i dot jpeg and counter okay and once again we want to be writing it um sorry we want to open this new file okay so image equals f open file name w and then f write f write buffer 1 512 image and of course update the found jpeg into false so you guys will notice that this if and else is almost the same except that if it's the very first jpeg we don't have to close our uh, initial file um but then if it's you know the next few subsequent jpeg then we have to close our initial files or else our uh, valgrain will fail okay so now also this counter plus plus and you guys will notice that creating an if else condition where the statements are almost the same are pretty redundant so we can actually improve this code uh, such that we can do something like this so if the counter is not equal to zero okay if the counter is not equal to zero what we want to do is basically close the previous image right and then apart from that everything else is the same so we can basically close this and delete this all right delete this all right okay so now 
that we have done uh, for new new JPEGs, what we want to do is let's say um, we are let's say it's not a new JPEG anymore and it's just the subsequent JPEGs. So we can do something like this. So else um, if okay. So even then we have to have an if condition, and that's because we want that's because as you can see this yellow first few yellow boxes uh, first few white boxes right this first few white boxes are literally just empty and it's nothing so just so that um you know we know that we found uh our first jpeg what we can do is basically counter is equals to zero sorry counter is not equals to zero so this will just help us check that okay uh, we already found our very first JPEG and just now we'll just be reading it. I mean, now we'll just be writing it. So F write buffer one 512 image. Okay. Um, and that's about it actually. This should be the end of the program. If you guys don't understand anything, just comment down below and I'll try to support you guys. Um, and also spend some time to just read through the program. Um, try to maybe draw flowcharts on how uh, how each of the statements work and uh, and how how each of the lines work okay so um let me okay so the final few steps that we have to do is to close all of the faults okay so we opened uh the card.raw file right so now at the very end after the while loop we have to close this so f close uh, raw file okay apart from that what we also have to close is for the very first uh, for the very end image file we also have to close that okay uh, that's because we won't be finding a new JPEG anymore so at the very end we won't be finding any more new JPEGs uh, that we can close okay so this F close image will not be running anymore so we will have to also add F close image okay so now that should be it so let me try make recover okay no errors uh, let's run dot slash recover and this should uh, not work because we didn't add any uh, file names so that didn't work so dot slash recover let's say card dot raw this should work and create JPEGs for us um, okay so as you guys noticed we have created the jpegs and we created up to 49 jpegs okay so that should be the end of this problem set and let me just check 50 just to check if um, our program is correct all right so it seemed to have passed all the checks if you guys like this video hit the like button and subscribe and subscribe if you guys have any questions comment down below and i'll try to help you guys out and see you guys on the next video bye bye